Hello and welcome back to game 2 on the last set of games in the grand final set 2 between Loisa and Viper. Loisa actually seeing the main goal and deciding nope I don't want, don't want to get that house here I'm gonna re rebuild it somewhere else. Find the sheep now this is good. Unless for Viper can get sheep on the TC right now. Let's go and check the maps and actually talk about the civilizations. Look at this. Viper Turks, Loisa, Vikings. And actually Vikings are not considered uh, the, one of the better civilizations or one of the best civilizations on Arena. But I guess from banning two civilizations, Loisa knew he and Viper was going to pick Turks. And I think Viper most likely banned Mayans and Britons, the two civilizations that can actually compete with Turks on Arena. I'm not sure what Viper did. No, Viper had to win, so maybe Loisa didn't want to go for Turks were here, or maybe he thought Viper would go something else, I don't know. But Viking, Viking's a really interesting choice. Viper already attacking Loisa's scout, that means Loisa has to go back. Two boars inside for Loisa, no steals happening there. And let's start with the maps right now. Civilizations, let's see how this is playing out. Viper actually, no, it's Loisa, sorry, got a bug base here, but looks like he wanted to play it. What's there? There is one gold and one stone in the bag. I think Loisa said, yeah, I can see this, but I can see all my other resources. There is uh, the sheep next to the extra berries, there's the two boars, and uh, sorry, the deer, and there is four sheep remaining, so four plus four, that means eight sheep available for Loisa. No need to actually restart this map. I don't know if he was happy with the map, because his main gold pretty forward here, the main stone on the side, second gold out side or third gold and the second gold and second stone safe in the back maybe that's the reason for Loisa to saying yeah I want to play this but with Vikings I don't know how they're gonna do against Turks I guess Arbalest but then there's the bombard cannons later on not sure about it extra gold on the map on the right hand side another extra gold on the left hand side don't see extra stone right now maybe in Viper space possible but maybe a second stone as well actually let's look at the relics first because this one two three four five all on the left hand side rush distance of course pretty pretty short players are pretty pretty close and lois are really nice getting the deer in through the gate without using a sheep that's really expert games i think it's not easy to do that i didn't try it yet but i assume it's like deer can go cuckoo without having gates here and lois are even getting one without using a sheep i think he should use the sheep would be a lot easier and for now relatively safe but Lois are deciding to put it again and try to open the gate but this time the deer running away and nope again not working this is hard to do let's have a look at this before checking out Viper's map Lois are one two no deer going only around and again stopped so it's not gonna go through the gate now going away from the walls let's see Lois another attempt but deer actually yeah this is not good and Lois should have sent a sheep and just keep the gate open would have been a lot easier now he's actually deleting the wall something that he didn't need to do but maybe easier in the long run and <laughs> he's sending it out right now oh loisa what the hell he's gonna go for the other deer he's probably pissed at this point feudal age coming in for uh, loisa he clicked up right now 26 population four farms up for vikings pretty good eco here uh, and uh, starting in feudal age so the far you need the farms actually without having too many deer and three villages on stone interestingly enough did not take 10 stone at uh, 10 gold i don't know why he should have done it maybe he's gonna do it later on he's sending the villager right now this is gonna be close uh, food wise he should be fine i guess getting the second deer now in the third one no he got the third in but yeah, the 10 stone, does he have it? Yep, yeah. okay, he's gonna be able to click up. As for Viper, he is on stone, main stone forward for him, he's on gold, main gold relatively safe in the back, somewhat on the side, but it's all right. Market Blacksmith coming up for him, second stone, second gold safe in the back, this is nice. And third gold outside, but relatively close to his base. That means no extra stone on the map, or at least none that I can see, maybe I missed it, but no, I don't think there is extra stone this time. Doesn't really matter, double bricks coming in for Viper, was color already for Loisa, and both players are upping to Castle Age. Viper only with one lumber camp, he's gonna have the stone to get the castle up, but I'm not sure, is he gonna go really aggressive, gold mining coming in, or maybe fast Imperial Age, doesn't look like he has the resources to do that, 30 population, not sure what Viper's plan is. He's got to get a castle in Castle Age for sure. Uh, and then we have to see, as for Loisa, he uh, managed to 
to cut through the forest here so he can go to the back. Did he send the scout already? Yeah, scouted it, going to the TC on the wood line and uh, back gold. This is really nice. Another TC probably coming up. Or no, Loisa wants to get a castle up, so not enough wood for that. And he's going to stay on British production, both are coming in for both players. As for Viper, he's up to Castle Age, going with the monastery right now. Looks like he wants to go TC first, but no, castle coming in. Okay, where is he going? Really forward, line of sight from that gate, I guess. Let me check. Yep, yeah, once Viper is starting to build this castle, Lois is going to see it. There we go. Viper doing wheelbarrow after getting Loom in. And of course, you got the light cap, so Lois really can't afford to get out with the scout now. I don't even know where the scout is. For Lois, Viper the monk. Where is Lois' scout? Is it hide? Is it? Ah, it's on the left hand side. Okay. Oh, uh, there it is. Viper getting the first relic in, or he's gonna try to. And. Yep, yeah, now going. Actually. Building a mill on the extra barriers that are close to Lois's base. Three farms up. This is really interesting. Lois, of course, knows about the castle, so he's gonna go with a castle of his own. Somewhat covering the main gold, I guess, but especially he's protecting this TC and everything behind it. And it looked like uh, Lois's eco. It's all in the bag. Maybe that's why he didn't restart. He knew I want to get a safe eco. I can easily wall this and get my TCs in the bag somewhere. I don't know. Something like that maybe have been on his mind. Viper going in with the Janissaries, but he's gonna go around. Maybe try and go through those houses and houses are not really good mm, good to block the way for Janissaries. I think stone walls would have been a lot better here. Viper starting to attack. I think Loisan, yeah, there's the stone walls and I think he may need to get a siege workshop up at least to, to have some some defense against the Janissaries. Viper, let's see what he's going to do. A lot of gold in the bank, putting down a lot of Janissaries. Is it one TC for the Viper? Yeah, he didn't build another TC. It's the villagers on, on, on stone. And a lot of wood in the bank. Actually, more than he needs. This is not too good of an eco right now. Viper should fix his eco. Maybe he's planning something with all that wood. We may see two more TCs come up for the Viper once the push is failing. But for now, he's trying to go through. He managed to get through that house and he's attacking the next house here. So Loisa, maybe a tower. Might be an option. Tower and a siege workshop may be a good combination to defend against the Janissaries. But for now Loisa is just walling behind this. This house is going down pretty fast and the Janissaries are going to go through and under the castle but not in range of the castle. Look at this. And now Loisa stonewalling this. That's what he planned I guess. Archer range is coming up in the back. Viper, he's not gonna go through these stone walls, I guess. And I think Loisa should really get a siege workshop up. He's got three TCs up and running. There's the third one, second one we've seen on the on the gold. And Loisa now putting one lumber camp down. It's a lot of villagers, a lot of isles. This is not good for him. Viper at the same time, one TC. That means clicking up to Imperial Age. He may have sold some wood, may have bought some food. But I don't really know about it. I guess so. Check the food price. 135, not that much. And I guess he sold some wood as well. So Viper is going to get rid of this castle. Actually, Lois are taking a lot of gold here right now, but Janissaries should be able to stop the villagers. But Viper is only sending the Janissaries in, I guess, trying to cover this wood line. Lois has to fix his eco around the back a little bit. And now we may see Viper try to go through that wall. And uh, in the number of Janissaries he has is really huge, so he may be able to do it. But Lois are with one good manganel shot, he would be fine with the siege workshop. Uh, market coming up in the back. No siege workshop, starting to go for crossbowmen, I guess. Uh, as the research is coming in, I don't see any archers yet. And Viper still going with a few villages now. Janissary is the monk. And I think he wants to put a castle up, maybe right around here. Yes, wow, this is beautiful. Perfect castle. And Viper almost up to Imperial Age. As for Lois, a lot of resources in the bank, a lot of gold. Not a lot of food in the bank, so he cannot click up. Of course, he boomed in three TCs, got a lot more villages than Viper. But there is not enough crossbows to take down those Janissaries. And without a siege workshop, without a manganel shot, there's really no point in going crossbowmen, I think. At least for now. Lois actually escaping with a few villagers, but Viper, oh look at this, this is beautiful. Viper can see this TC, can see the villagers. Perfect monk placement, uh, use the monk to uh, the best thing I can do, uh, and which is control the map here and get uh, information about what Lois is doing. I guess Lois may be seeing the monk, may start to attack it, but Viper at the same time. I think Trebuchet is on the way, there we go. And he, I don't know, he didn't manage to go through, but I think Lois opened the vaults now, going out with the crossbows. No defense 
defensive upgrades. It's a big mistake, I think. He should do them. Lois, he got a lot of gold, a lot of uh, resources now, but I think he wants to go to Imperial Age first. The monk went down, so Viper now knows about this TC, meaning Lois is idling those villagers. He forgot about them. Uh, of course, he's busy microing the crossbowman. The villagers still not working. This is not good, and Viper in full control of the map. Let me check how many relics did he get. All five of them. I didn't even see it, but of course, Viper had the time to do that. Viper now trying to micro against the crossbowman. Of course, the crossbow is shooting a lot faster, and Lois actually managing to get rid of all the chimneys. Maybe I think he should be able to do that. Losing a few crossbowmen in the end, but two of them remaining. Viper now got rid of the castle, now starting to attack the university because the two trebuchets are still there. And Loisa clicked up to Imperial Age. Viper really low on resources and only 43 villagers. Well, that's the standard thing for relatively fast Imperial Age here. Please tell me you used the TC in the back here. Where's the Imperial Age? Oh no, he used the TC on the side. Wow, this is interesting. That uh, Lois, I gotta have some balls here. Now uh, Viper is attacking his TC and he's sending a trebuchet. If Lois's Imperial Age upgrade is being denied, then Lois is gonna be GG. Lois is repairing, so Viper may know now that uh, this is the imp TC, but only one trebuchet close and Lois are using a lot of villagers. He cannot afford to lose this TC yet. And 5%, yeah, he's gonna be able to go to him. There we go. Now it can stop and he's gonna lose the TC as well as the villages here. But he managed to get the, uh, to Imperial Age, so now Arbalest on the way, of course. Opening the walls yet again, I think he should have uh, let them. should have uh, kept them there a little bit longer. Crossbowmen without Bracer. Bracer not coming in. Lois are really low on resources. No, it could go, go for it. Maybe it doesn't have. Ah, now Brace on the way. There we go. And Arbor is done, so uh, Lois is gonna go out now. Another TC coming up for Lois, but there's a wolf. Uh, wolf is gonna take... No, not to take down the villager. It's Genistry is taking down the villager. Lois is saying, what the fuck? I don't know what happened. Maybe um, Arbor took a huge shot and didn't didn't walk. That's possible. And now good shot from Lois. Uh, getting the Arbor on the field. Taking down two Manganals because it's not too hard. I guess there was some bug. This Lois said, what the fuck? But it didn't know about it. Thumbring coming in for Lois as well. And oh, I want to go on 85 speed. Come on. Uh, let's see about the micro now. Bombard uh, for Viper, and that means the Arbalest will have trouble uh, to really get to the Manganels' Chinesters without taking some shots. Now Lois are um, deciding I'm gonna go out, maybe try and attack Viper Space, but he's not gonna be able to go in. He may start to take uh, down those single Chinesters, but I'm not sure to what end. And at the same time, Viper going for the Manganel with the Bombard Cannon here now, the three Chinesters is gonna start and attack villages again. And Lois are only 15 villages more, it's not a big difference. As for Viper, did he get more TCs up? Actually, there's only one. One TC for now, still only one TC for Viper. Interesting, but he's using everything he has to get this push going and trebuchet coming in now. And not too many Arbalest splitting them, your army is maybe not the best idea here. I'm not sure about it because now uh, Manganels, Bombard Cannons, and you need to micro those. Maybe the group is just small enough to get good micro, but very beautiful shot with the Manganel. And Loisa now has to go back with only the five remaining Arbalest. Gonna come in from behind, gonna take down this trebuchet maybe. Uh, is he going to tag it? Yes, that's one, two. It's gonna take a few shots here. And of course, Viper still with a lot of bombard cannons is gonna be able to defend this trap for now. And Lois is gonna lose a TC on this gold. Gold really low for Lois at this point. Viper full control, and I don't think Lois is gonna have an easy way to come back here. This looks rather difficult. And Viper. Missing that shot, Loisa having a huge group of Arbalest shooting without being attacked. This is good for Loisa. At the same time, he uh, sacrificed those uh, remaining two. Now there's one remaining, taking down the, the Manganel. But losing Arbalest to the Bombard Cannon shots at this point, that's not what you want to have. Loisa needs maybe Light Cap or something, maybe even Knights to take down Siege, and he cannot afford them. He doesn't have to uh, eco. And he's calling Chi Chi right now. Viper caught him. This monk was actually. Perfect. That was the most beautiful monk I've seen uh, not doing some conversions. And Viper with great map control, Trux 
yeah, better than Vikings on Arena. And Viper, of course, knew what he had to do. Push early before the Vikings are fully boomed. And then it's going to be hard, actually. Or at least not easy. But like this Viper taking two games in a row on the way to becoming the champion. Or at least that's what he wants to have. Loisa is going to try and stop him, of course. But for now, looks like Viper is in really great shape. Of course, these games happened in February 2016. I think somebody was asking in one of the former videos. Hope you enjoyed this game. See you in the next one. And GG.